Today in the Big Blue Barn, we are having our retrospective exhibition for grade 10, 11 and 12 visual arts and design learners, where they can display their entire year's work and where we mark them and they are able to verbally communicate their intentions. We were lucky enough to have visual arts and design added to the curriculum at Roosevelt High School in 2017. So we have been running these practical programs for six years now and every single year our learners improve, learning from one year to another. The building blocks for grade 10 and 11 and 12 are very important. Grade 10 being the utmost important building block where the learners are supposed to essentially master the elements of art and the design principles. Here in grade 10, learners have to start creating their niche that they will carry forward to grade 11. Grade 11, they will furthermore develop their styles and when they're in matric, they will eventually have perfected their styles. Thus, if they miss out on one of the building blocks, they could face challenges in grade 12. From grade 7, I realised that I actually have some skills here with the visual arts and from grade 9, I decided that from grade 10 onwards, I would be really interested in learning more about the history of art and how art is actually done in practice. I took design because my dream was to be an interior design and an architect, so I wanted to improve my skills into taking design. I improved my skills by going home and listening and restudying and practicing the work that I did in class. And it, it was a really interesting task to do at home because design is a very nice subject. Yeah. Well, I've always enjoyed visual arts, but I realized that architecture really sits right on top of my heart and I enjoy it very much. So with architecture and art, they coexist. So I think that visual art will be a great starting point for my architectural career one day. Well, in the future, I want to take my skills in design. With architecture, interior design and graphic design, I feel like I'm very well at brainstorming and creating my own ideas. So I would want to take that further after school.